good morning children so welcome to the online classes of uh, deb gumla today i am going to deal with this topic that is standard 12 maths and we are going to deal with miscellaneous exercise of chapter 4 that is on determinants clear so we will be solving some of the important questions from the topic determinants and uh, in miscellaneous exercise there are very very important questions which are very crucial from exam point of view so frequently one question is getting asked that this is the question i am writing the question of page 138 this is an example question so this is example 32 clear so i have to prove prove that the question asked like this prove that determinant value of y plus z whole square then xy then zx then again xy x plus z whole square yz and here xg yz x plus y whole square okay it it is equal to i have to prove 2xyz and multiplied by x plus y plus z its whole square right so this is my question how to solve it let us see right so for solving let me start this is the solution i will start from lhs and our lhs is here y plus z whole square then xy then zx and here also xy then x plus z whole square i repeat this is x plus z whole square and this is yz next xz then yz then it is x plus y whole square clear now what i will do i will just uh, apply one thing you multiply each row with x and first row with x second row with y and third row with z right now multiplying if i multiply so simply i can write it like this simply replace row 1 by x times row 1 row 2 by x times row 2 and row 3 by x times sorry i have committed a mistake here this will be y times clear so i have row 2 row 2 it is y times row 2 and here row 3 will be equal to z times row 3 clear now once i multiply x extra in row 1 and y extra in row 2 and uh, z extra in row 3 so i have to divide it in this manner 1 by x y z then if i multiply row 1 by x the answer will be x whole into y plus z whole square then this is x square y then this is z x square next in the second row if i multiply y this is x y square then this will be y whole into x plus z whole square then it will be y square z next if i multiply z in the third row this will be x z square then y z square then z whole into x plus y whole square now uh, i think uh, you have understood this that i have multiplied x and y z inside so i have divided also x y z in the right hand so this x y z due to the division why because i have multiplied the things in the uh, inside the Uh, determinant right now let us start to solve this one clear now next what i'll do is just take this one in this manner you take x common from column 1 i repeat x common from column 1 y common from column 2 and z common from column 3 right i repeat x common from column 1 y common from column 
and z common from column 3 and already i was having x y z now if i have taken x common from column 1 then this x should be removed right so what will be left y plus z whole square then i have taken x from second column uh, first column that is uh, y square will be left and here also z square similarly i have taken y common from second column so what will be left here x square will be left then this will be x plus z whole square next it will be z square next i have also taken common z from column 3 so what will be left here x square then this will be y square and if i take z common this will be x plus y whole square clear now let us start here after doing this step what i will do is i will just subtract column 2 by column 2 minus column 1 and uh, column 3 by column 3 minus column 1 right so here what i'll have xyz and xyz will get cancelled these three things right now what i'll have is i have replaced column 1 by column 2 minus column 1 then column 3 also i have replaced it by column 3 minus column 1 right now column sorry column 2 will be replaced by column 2 minus column 1 so there is no change in column 1 hence i will be writing the elements like this now this one will be written as x square minus y plus z whole square next this will be written as x plus z whole square minus y square now similarly this element will be written as zero now here also this element is zero now this is y square minus x plus z whole square then i'll have this is x plus y whole square minus z square clear now next what we will do is that implies that is equal to now this will be y plus z whole square next it will be y square and this will be z square now this is a square minus b square right so it will be written as x plus y plus z multiplied by again x minus y minus z next the same thing here also x plus y plus z next it will be x minus y plus z next it will be 0 and the similar things will be written here 0 then here also x plus y plus z whole square sorry x plus y plus z x plus y plus z multiplied by y minus x minus z so i am not having place here so i am writing it here y minus x minus z clear now similarly in the third row also x plus y plus z i will be writing and uh, x plus y minus z will be there clear so let me see and the third column it will be x plus y plus z whole into this one will be x plus y minus z so i will be writing here x plus y minus z clear now let me erase these things it will be more clear to you right now this thing it is equal to what i will have x plus y plus z from column 2 and column 3 i am taking common so it will be x plus y plus z whole square now what will be left let us write this will be y plus z whole square this is y square and this is z square then x plus y plus z if i have taken x minus y minus z next it will be same thing x minus y plus z this is zero then here also 
y minus x minus z and here also I'll have x plus y minus z and at last what will be left so in the numerator sorry I've written it wrong here so what I'll write here is x 0 here will be here then x plus y plus z have taken common so what will be left y minus x minus z and at last x plus y minus z clear now let me erase the top part clear so since i am able to write only two steps on this blackboard it is requested that you pause this video to complete the notes right now here after doing this step what will be left let us see right now same thing i have taken common x plus y plus z now what i'll have i'll just apply r1 is replaced by r1 minus r1 plus r2 let us see why i have done that clear so i'll have here x plus y plus z whole square next r1 is replaced by r1 minus r2 plus r3 this will be r2 plus r3 so r1 minus r2 plus r3 if i uh, subtract then what will be left it is 2yz similarly r1 minus r2 plus r3 so this will be x and x will get cancelled this x and this x will get cancelled similarly this y and this y also get cancelled so minus 2z will be left clear so here minus 2z and at last here also if i calculate this will be minus 2y left this minus this minus this so here this 2 will get cancelled similarly this 2 will also get cancelled what will have minus uh, 2y right so let us see this one now look at the thing here uh, i have written that step actually i think wrong so here what will be there minus 2y then it will be 0 here minus 2y will be left and it will be 0 so after doing this step i will be writing like this look at this minus 2y then here what will be left it is y square and this is z square this is x plus y sorry x minus y plus z and this is also 0 this is 0 and this is x plus y minus z clear now what will i will have is what i will do here c2 is replaced by c2 plus 1 by y times c1 clear 1 by y times c1 similarly c3 is replaced by c3 plus 1 by z times c1 clear so what i'll have x plus y plus z whole square now look at this c2 column number 2 is replaced by this plus 1 by y times this clear so 1 by y times if i take uh, c so what will be left 2yz will be left and minus 2z plus 1 by y times that is plus 2z clear so minus 2z plus 2z it will give you 0 so first i have not made any change to column 1 so 2yz next y square and z square now this and this it will be written in this manner 0 and this one minus 2y you see the elements this plus 1 by y times this so this plus 1 by y times this who only x plus z will be left similarly this plus 1 by y times this that means it will be z square divided by y will be left similarly column 3 i have replaced by column 3 plus 1 by z times column 1 so column 3 plus 1 by z times column 1 so if i take it it will also give you 0 now 
column 1 plus 1 by z times this one. So it will be y square divided by z. And this plus 1 by z times this. So what will be left? 1 x plus y. Clear? Now let me erase the upper part. You also pause this video, see it for some times, analyze it, whatever doubts you have, you just analyze and solve it. Clear? Now this is equal to x plus y plus z whole square. Now you expand it along column 1. If I expand it along, uh, sorry, row 1, not column 1, along row 1. So what will be left? 2yz into, you remove the row and column containing this. So what will be left with me is x plus z. Here it will be y square z. Similarly, y square by z. Similarly, this one will be z square by y and this one will be x plus y. Clear? Now, let us expand and find the final solution. Clear? So, let us see this one. This step, it is equivalent to 2yz whole into x plus y plus z whole square. Now, let us multiply. This will be x plus y whole into x plus z this minus this will be z square y by y multiplied by y square by z clear bracket is closed clear now let us see it next what to write is this is 2yz whole into x plus y plus z whole square next what i'll have is x square plus z x plus x y plus y z and minus if i cancel it it will also be minus y z clear now let us erase this one and you see this is 2 y z whole into x plus y plus z whole square now what will be left is these two will get cancelled x square plus gx plus xy right now what i'll do from the last term i will take x common right if i take x common it will be 2xyz and what will be left x plus y plus z whole square multiplied by x plus y plus z now this will be 2xyz whole into x plus y plus z whole cube so this question requires a lot of rigorous practice and from this lesson also you see it how i have explained it and also go through page number 138 and 139 of ncrt for more details clear so you can solve it easily but a rigorous practice is required clear now let us proceed to the next question right the question goes like this This is your question number 12, page 142. Clear? So, what I will have is, sorry, it is not 12, it is 13. Right? The question goes like this. Prove that determinant of 3a minus a plus b minus a plus c. Next, minus b plus a. This is 3b minus b plus c minus c plus a minus c plus b and 3c and i have to prove that this value is equal to thrice of a plus b plus c multiplied by a b plus b c plus c clear so have a look at this question go through page 142 of ncrt and let us begin the solution clear now the solution will be i will be writing the question first this is 3a minus a plus b and minus a plus c. Similarly, minus b plus a. This is thrice of b minus b plus c. Now, this is minus c plus a minus c plus b. And this is 3c. Now, you can see easily. If I apply row, sorry, column 1 is replaced by column 1 
प्लस कॉलम टू प्लस कॉलम थ्री लुक एट दिस थ्री ए माइनस ए प्लस बी प्लस माइनस ए प्लस सी सो इफ आई गो टू एड ऑन दिस तो व्हाट आई विल गेट इज थ्री ए माइनस ए माइनस ए इट विल बिकम ए प्लस बी प्लस सी सिमिलरली लुक एट दिस रो हियर ऑल्सो आई विल बी इफ आई एड आई विल गेट ए प्लस बी प्लस सी एंड हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू सी इफ आई एड दिस थ्री एलिमेंट्स आई विल ऑल्सो गेट ए प्लस बी प्लस सी क्लियर सो लेट अस बिगिन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्लियर सो व्हाट आई अप्लाई इज सी वन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय सी वन प्लस सी टू प्लस सी थ्री क्लियर सो व्हाट इट विल बी ए प्लस बी प्लस सी हियर ऑल्सो इट विल बी ए प्लस बी प्लस सी हियर ऑल्सो इट विल बी ए प्लस बी प्लस सी नाउ व्हाट इज लेफ्ट माइनस ए प्लस बी दिस इज थ्री बी माइनस सी प्लस बी सिमिलरली माइनस ए प्लस सी माइनस बी प्लस सी एंड दिस विल बी थ्री सी क्लियर नाउ let us have it so this is equal to let us take a plus b plus c common if i take common it will be 1 minus a plus b here also minus a plus c similarly this is 1 this is thrice b and this is minus b plus c and this is also 1 minus c plus b and this is thrice of c clear now what you do you just apply a trick the trick is row 1 replaced by row 1 minus row 2 and uh, sorry row 2 here i am changing this one row 2 is replaced by row 2 minus row 1 and row 3 is replaced by row 3 minus row 1 clear so in that case what i'll get look at row 2 this is 1 minus a plus b this is minus a plus c now row 2 is row 2 minus row 1 this is 3 0 and 3b plus a and this is minus b so it will be a minus sorry a plus 2b similarly this minus this c c will get cancelled and it will be a minus b right similarly here also it will become zero and uh, this is r3 minus r1 so here also b b will be cancelled it will be a minus c here also r3 minus r1 so what will be left it is a and uh, plus 2c right now let us see this one this is equal to what i'll have okay i have missed this term a plus b plus c i had taken earlier common so it will be a plus b plus c now if i expand along this column so what will be left one will be left here and what will be left here you just remove this will be a plus 2b and a minus b and here also a minus c and a plus 2c clear now let us erase this part if i erase then what i'll get it is equal to a plus b plus c multiplied by now let us multiply this one clear what i'll have a square plus 2ac plus 2ab plus 4 times bc clear then minus here what terms i'll have a square minus ab minus ac plus bc clear this is equal to a plus b plus c now let us see this one is a square minus a square so i'll be writing it again a square plus 2ac 
plus 2ab plus 4bc and all the things will become minus here what will be minus here this will be a square minus minus it will be plus ab plus ac minus bc clear now what i will have is like this this is equal to a plus b plus c now a square a square getting cancelled then 2ab i think this term should be minus ab somewhere i must have committed mistake you also check it once again right so uh, 2a no no it is correct so it will be a square a square getting cancelled 2ab plus ab it will be 3ab now 2ac plus ac it will be 3ac now 4bc minus bc it will be 3bc so i think i can take uh, here 3 common clear if i take 3 common so it will be thrice of a plus b plus c a plus b plus c multiplied by a b plus b c plus a c clear so like this we can solve so many questions you also practice the things hard since this was the last class before one week vacation so you will have one week vacation in that you just solve the question i am giving you homework this is remaining questions of exercise that is miscellaneous exercise chapter 4 right so during the vacation you try to utilize it to the maximum solve all the question after the vacation when you meet i will solve your questions also you place your queries on your email id and i will just respond that okay thank you that's all for today and a happy vacation uh, stay at home and stay safe okay thank you thank you very much